Jonathan Willis, uh, who writes uh, occasionally, wish he'd write more, uh, for The Athletic, mm-hmm. tweeted this one out earlier today. NHL teams, best record, last 25 games. Okay, all NHL teams, best yep. record, last 25 games. Number one, Edmonton Oilers, 19-6. and six. Mm-hmm. Number two, Winnipeg Jets, 18-5-2. and two. Number three, Vancouver Canucks, 16-6. And three, and then adds, not only are the three best Canadian teams, but with the Flames over 500, 13, 10, and 2, this has to be one of the best regular season segments for Western Canada ever. Now, you and I remember the high flying Smythe division from the 80s, and there was Edmonton, there was Calgary, and there was Winnipeg. And I remember Wayne Gretzky once telling me on Hockey Night in Canada radio that if Winnipeg had a goaltender, they would have been right there uh, with those other two teams. Uh, do you have a thought on the last 25 games here for the Oilers, the Jets, and the Vancouver Canucks? Do you think all three of them have the staying power? I do. Um, number one, I mean, there's a lot of talk about Vancouver and their PDO. Um, you know, I, to me, I've looked at that. To me, the PDO is a lot like the housing bubble. Um, you know it's going to burst at some point, but it's a guess for yeah. everybody when that is, right? Uh, people think they know, yep. they don't know. Maybe they're just on a season-long vendor, and maybe it never changes. But what I do see from the Canucks, as I see they're getting really good goaltending from Demko and DeSmith, even though they lost yesterday, DeSmith has given them a lot of good starts. Um, I think they... Their best players have been great all year. Um, I, I just think Vancouver is a good team, and they've really bought into what their coach is teaching. Um, mm-hmm. You know, Winnipeg, I think they've got one of the best goalies in the league, a good backup again who gives them good games. And the thing I really like about them is they played really well when Connor was out. Like, that's a huge player for them, and he's coming back now. But... You know, yep. that's a good sign for me. They played well for him. And Edmonton is just Edmonton. They're healthy. Like, I, like I, think, I, mean, I think all of these teams are going to look to add Jeff. I do. I think, I think Vancouver is going to look for maybe another top six forward and maybe some depth. I think Edmonton is going to look for some depth. Uh, I think Winnipeg. I, I'm really curious to see what Winnipeg decides to do because I think that they've got – You know, they've got one of the best third lines in the league. They've got Connor coming back. But I just think they'll try to add something here and there. I think all these teams are good, Jeff. And I think they all have a chance to add something and make themselves even better. You know, the one thing I always wonder about here, though, Jeff, is especially with a team like Winnipeg, it's very obvious their chemistry is, is very good. And I always look at it like everybody wants to be better, right? Everybody wants to add better pieces but you don't want to do anything that throws off a chemistry and the Jets seem to have very special chemistry this year.